Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to The Witcher 3 where I've got so many mutations going. And Regis is uh, blowing his nose or something back there. And since we just got done with a main quest, we are going to do a side quest. Um... I think I got... Huh. Admittedly intrigued, Rosalba Steel was the issue. Oh yeah, the spoon key. We could do more Grandmaster hunts. Now let's hop on to a second one. Uh, posting did not seem to be an offer, which is work. Even so, Geralt decided to learn more about it. Did not neglect his vocation and true core of his existence, namely pursuing and slaying monsters. Having found a notice on a notice board posted by a merchant guild beset by some beast, the witcher decided to go to the appointed spot to learn about the details. No, Gwen. Uh, oh yeah, I can't do that right now. Shh, fun, fun, fun. Hush now. Um, the warmest summer evening, a cool sunny morning, time and weather, no report. <gasps> right, Yennefer, I knew there, okay, 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 good. I'm like, I there feel like there was like another really big quest um, that I can't remember, but now, ha, was this one? Strongman. He concluded he met the above stated requirements. <laughs> All right, let's just see where it is. Oh, not too far at all. I wonder, at some point, I might just take off and run to the, uh... Oops. That cool-looking... Maybe it was over here? I think it might have been over here. The cool-looking rock formation. That was like... Look, Lord of the Ringsy. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no? Okay, it's fine. All right. What? What? Can I have it? It says it's lootable. Ah! Hang on. Okay. This is gonna be... Ooh. Thank you. See, I guess I haven't really taken a big look around here. What's that? Piles of money. Was that just the mushrooms I saw? Must have been. It'd be cool if I could pick up the piles of money. Demedia. Ah, uh, what? Wow, that is a long one. Uh, wherever you are, my friend. So they, they can have kids, by the way. Like, that's cool, I guess. I, I, I guess they can have kids. Because he's a descendant of the people, who, the first vampires who came through the conjunction. One of the most extraordinary individuals I have encountered during my numerous adventures at Geralt's side was the vampire known as Regis. To be precise, he was known as Emil Regis Roholik Terzelf Godfrey. Godfrey. By his own reckoning, he was 428 years old and was a descendant of unfortunate beings trapped in our world during the conjunction of the spheres. You are surely thinking, dear reader, about catacons, alps, and other such monsters and are pondering how is how it was that the Witcher, who it must be admitted is a slayer of monsters, came to keep such company. I must here explain that Regis was a higher vampire, a creature which physically does not differ all that much from a man. Higher vampires are also much more powerful than their wild con confreres and their regenerative abilities significantly outpace those of anything else you've encountered or could even imagine. 
But it is not because of his outer appearances or inner strength that Regis became our dear companion. True, he could be pretentious and rather pompous in his frequent length perorations, but one would be hard-pressed to find in him the haughtiness usually present in higher beings. Regis valued human life dearly and refused to kill unless forced to do so. As he once confessed, higher vampires do not in fact need to drink blood at all in order to survive. They treat it somewhat as we treat alcohol. A rough grasp of this dynamic might be given to you by the fact that when we met him, Regis had been abstinent for years. He never revealed to us why he decided to join in our hunt for Siri. He had never met her before, nor did he live to see her. He died at Stig Castle during the battle against the Mad Mage Vilgeforts, who was responsible for the whole affair. He died for a cause which he truly did not fully understand, but he did it to, he did it to defend those he held dear and simply because it was the right thing to do. Alright. Interesting. Me, me, any more? Nope. What's that? Nice. An anatomy sketch. Cool. Let's see if we can't escape over here. I think we have to go through here, though, to get out. Yay, sunlight. Oh, God, there's a wall there. Such a beautiful game. Can't wait to see their new one. If it ever happens, you know what I mean? It's been so long. But at the rate I play these games, like, you know, it's no big deal. Oh, uh, yeah. Toussaint's mighty rivers are not the only route for getting wine out of the Duchy. During the spring runoff, the Sanstratour San becomes very dangerous to navigate, and local exporters turn to transport methods less likely to result in catastrophic loss. Those merchants groups those, these merchants group together into caravans, hire guards, and set out with their goods overland. Their favorite destination? Matinia, whose capital is likewise named Matinia, leading some of Toussaint's toys to joke their wine is medicine for that kingdom's fabled lack of imagination i love the little the little side notes like man what would it be to work at project red you know they gotta be so creative ah. so neat all right out this Hey, look at that guy. Oh, well, hi, computer. Shh, nobody cares. Okay, this is correct. Who's this guy painting? That's beautiful. Ugh, can you guys see that? Because that's annoying. You can. Why the heck is... Why? <laughs> Oh, okay, good. So it went away on its own. I was gonna take a minute, and hopefully I'll edit that out, but if I don't, I apologize. At least you got to watch this guy paint his beautiful creation. It actually is really cool looking. I would, I would 100% buy that. Red, white, and rosé. Other computer, nobody cares either. Man, why are my computers all so chatty today? You show them, girl. This looks like a graveyard. Hortyville. Horty. I'd probably say that with way too much of a German accent. You know, my fake German accent that I attempt. There's flies buzzing. This one seems to be a little bit in better shape. Can I read them? <laughs> don't drink that! <laughs> Sarah Faulkner. Faulkner? I don't know. <laughs> Raphael Dijon. The new recruits always march in the front lines. Yes. To all those who perished with the duchy, we remember. What's this? It's like a mausoleum? Locked. It's got skulls on it. Let me in. It's like a big giant red button. Let me in. No, let me in. It's probably part of this. Perhaps. Oh, hey. Well, I thought this was in a better shape. 
This looks like, th I was thinking maybe they were burying somebody, but it looks more like they were grave robbing. This is a big one. Patrick Mullins talked himself to death. That's, an, that's unfortunate, man, but it happens. Why can't they take better care of their graveyards? soaked through and falling apart can barely be read. First, don't do anything stupid. I know you buried Selena at the Buclair Cemetery along with the rest of the loot from our last heist. Remember, we deserve a cut of that too. So don't be an idiot. We all know you were her lover, but remember she was also the leader of our gang and that's what really counts. We never got our share for knocking over that jeweler in Mathenburg shop, so burying Selena with all the loot is pure jackassery. Those treasures belong to us all. Let's meet up and split things in an honest fashion. Then you can go drown yourself in the lake or hang yourself from any branch you choose. Robin. Okay. Well, that's a really terrible treasure, if that's what it was. Whoa. Turn and face the strange. I mean, this is like the most obvious thing out of place. Oh, or no. You guys are just distracting. search, um, oh, hang on. We are maybe in Alexandra, perhaps. Really knew each other, and their love was all the deeper for it. <laughs> okay, so we gotta look at the gravestones, maybe. So, then. Thomas Morrow, professor. Ah, uh, that is a phrase in Elven that I don't know, or the Elder language. Inscriptions in Elder speech. Salvation lies not in Dolmevde, but in our hearts. Glory be to Eldorin. How can you even... You sound like a, like you've been smoking for 50 years or more, Geralt. You 80-year-old man. Damn. Professor's journal's long gone. Guess somebody else found out about it, too. Should look around. See if I can find something else. Okay. Oh, let's examine this skeleton. Professor certainly can't do much to help me with my search. Footprints, narrow and shallow. Somebody small, light. Woman made An elf! Wonder where they lead. It's an elf, not a woman. Well, it could be a woman elf, but it's not a human. Damn it, trail breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Hmm, won't learn anything else here. Map Yen sent me, I'll have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Hellerin and Dolnevde. Okay. Check the location on the map she sent me. Hi, 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 hi. Uh, is it this one? Toussaint. Hmm. Site marked on the map's all wet now. Saint Retour flows through there. Must be where the valley of the river once lay. Need to explore the location. Search the entrance for the entrance to the professor's laboratory in the flooded ruins of the valley of the Nile. That's where we were just freaking at. I'm pretty sure. The San Resor, the San Retour. Oh, nope, okay. Not quite. Is it, we're going back and forth, back and forth. He's fine. He's fine. We're gonna run past, um... I 
can't believe it was like it was like oh treasure but it actually wasn't the hidden cache of goods it was like a note to where the hidden cache of goods is thanks game you're the best you really are don't take any offense please you're the, you're legitimately the best game in the in in this in, in this century probably Oh, we're getting closer! Ooh, there's like castle ruins over there. What is this? Is a town? Nope, not a town. Just like a little shack. Oh, hi. You're just a fisherman? Oh, okay. Just, 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 a, just a fisherman shack. Man, you got a nice life. Being a fisherman in Toussaint has got to be a pretty good life. I mean, you know. Not without its hardships and all that, and drowners, I'm sure, all over the place, but. Be, um, can you imagine living in a place like this? Water this color. Oh, hi! kill you but you know it is what it is I guess so it is somewhere out in the water is that one of those plants oh it is it's more plants I don't care about the plants I don't want to fight plants. New marker entrance. Is that is that a cache though right there? Give me, I'll fight some drowners for a cache. Nope. Okay, actually, then never mind. Where be the drowner pheromones? unfair. Are you, are you stuck? I think you're stuck. Okay. Carol, it's okay. Fight whatever's underwater. Killer whale, just in case. Or not killer whale, I don't remember. Marigold, drowner, pheromones, enhanced cat, white honey. Hmm. Oh, I think, is it this one? Yeah, it is killer whale. down. I took the drowner pheromones, so hopefully they leave me alone. I think I just antagonized the other ones beforehand. Are you doing? Oh, unfair. Uh, you're so gross. Pass through there. Is it through here? Uh, I 
need to go get some air. Take a little swim and dive back down. Oh, there is something down there. On the... Oh, it's a freaking portal! Oh my gosh, I didn't even see it. Wow, okay, here we go. Maybe. I was looking for something to pick up. Ooh, look how wet I am. <laughs> He's like, uh. The grave robber must have found something in Moreau's tomb to activate the entry portal. Wonder what surprises this place has in store. So every time Moreau wanted to come here, he had to swim under the water and uh that's that's how it worked. I mean, this is it. I, I usually like dying armor, but for some reason in this game, I'm not. It's not like my number one priority. I like the colors they give me. <laughs> Six cents of humor someone's got. Okay. I'll go this way. serious that was like oh my gosh that was hilarious at least it saved for when I got in there that's it that's amazing I mean I get it you know you gotta have some limitations in your game but Geralt can't survive a 10-foot drop then no witcher is he Oh, I don't believe it. Okay. What? Where did it put me? Oh, it, it put me. It must have like auto saved right before I died or something. Okay, okay. okay. I, I guess I won't. I won't. like a lot of effort. Ooh. Two ways. Haha. Blood moss. Yeah. Are you serious? That was mean. That was mean. Are you freaking serious? I was like, I, as I was going, I was like, oh no, I guess that's why you should have on cat, cat eye or whatever. 
I could have seen that better. It was like it was like Minecraft flashbacks all over again. Walking into like a big old giant cavern. <laughs> yes, I can. Okay, wow. Death I feel, I always feel like death saves always take way longer to load. All right. Wait, there was... Do you want this? This was something we want. Oh, sure that too. Why not? Wait. A big hole in the ground? Really? For all that? Oh, is this where it was? Certain suspicious individuals have begun hanging around outside my laboratory. I have been forced to implement additional security measures. I suspect they are but common criminals looking for something shiny to steal and have no real interest in my research, but better safe than sorry. Furthermore, on the advice of an engineer acquaintance of mine, I have decided to secure the premises with a simple mechanical apparatus. In one of the rooms along the route to the laboratory, I have installed a mechanism for locking and unlocking the doors, which is operated by pressing four protruding stones placed high up on the walls. I can bypass this lock with ease by using a simple spell. But a common thief will be faced with a double challenge. First, he must notice these stones and puzzle out their purpose. Then he must find a way to press them. Oh, I just lit myself on fire. It's fine. No, I don't want that. Well, okay. We'll take it. And sell it. Kitty. Come on. Hello, kitty cat. Kitty! Oh, wow. Didn't I just do this? Came right out. missing like other clues you know what I mean whoa I keep hearing this like heartbeat Ooh. not bad wouldn't mind having something like that myself some rope not bad wouldn't mind having something like that myself you want some rope wow now we have some rope are you happy, Geralt? Of course. Locked. Hmm. Notes I found mention four protruding stones. Gotta press them somehow. Crossbow me. Ah! Could try to hit them. What stones? Oh. Uh, one, two, maybe? something like that myself I don't even there's like a looks like I could use it to like slide down you know um well I only see two stones Oh, there's another one. Uh, there's the there's the third one. That a 
there? I don't know. I was trying to turn around, but he responds so slowly sometimes. something like that myself. Course. Locked. Hmm. Notes I found mentioned four protruding stones. There it is! Gotta press them somehow. Crossbow, maybe? Could try One, to hit them. Two, three, four! Found them! Found them! Pushed, that one's already pushed in? was supposed to be a right order for this. Hmm. Interesting as places go. Seems someone put a lot of thought into its design. Should look around. Yeah. Hmm. Impressive. Whoa! Just decoration. Oh god, there's so many. There are so many. Okay. Um. They are relics, right? Or are they Elementia? No, I think they're relics. Okay, time to check. Still have some, some potions on, so it should be alright. Let's see though, really quick. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> I got interrupted, but um, I was surprised to see something about the gargoyle paw. Ew, it's like all moving. Is that it? Now what? Oh! What? Why? Why? Oh. Great. Portals. This just keeps getting better. <laughs> 